Well, we're going to cut live uh, right now and go across to the Director General of Military After Operations. After carrying out briefing, yeah, a yes. detailed and thorough search of the entire area. It is after we got the confirmation that the complete area in and around the military complex at Uri has been cleared of all blind bombs, grenades and any other wrong things that the operation was finally called off. The total recoveries during this operation, some of which I had mentioned yesterday, include four AK rifles, four under-barrel grenade launchers, 39 under-barrel grenade launcher grenades, five hand grenades, uh, two radio sets, ICOM, two global positioning systems, two map sheets, two matrix sheets. These are the sheets that they use when they move from one place to the other as guidance points. And in addition to this, there was large quantity of food and medicine packets having markings of Pakistan. During 2016, there have been a total of 17 infiltration bids across the line of control which have been successfully eliminated by the Indian Army. Of a total of 110 terrorists which have been killed during various operations this year, 31 of them had been killed while they were attempting to cross the line of control. It actually indicates a very desperate attempt from across the border to push infiltrators into India with a view to create disturbances and foment unrest in our area. The last two infiltration attempts first on the 11th of September in the area of Punch and thereafter on 18th of September in the area of Uri. Both led to the neutralization and killing of four terrorists each by the Indian Army. It actually also shows that the infiltration bid attempts have relatively increased during this year as compared to the last three to four years. I would only like to mention at this stage that the Indian Army has displayed considerable restraint while handling the terrorist situations both along the line of control and in the hinterland. However, we have the desired capability to respond to such blatant acts of aggression and violence in the manner as deemed appropriate by us. We reserve the right to respond to any act of the adversary at the time and place of our own choosing. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. Well, that was uh, the Director General of uh, Military Operations who was uh, addressing the press. In fact, just a short while ago, this was not live, it was uh, uh, a little a play out. It was a play out a little time ago. And uh, important points he did mention there was that, were that 17 bids of infiltration have been foiled uh, this year. And uh, the last two bids, uh, one on the 11th of September in Poonch and the 18th in Uri, four terrorists each were killed. And uh, this number of infiltrations have increased compared to uh, last year and uh, the years before that. And these, this particular blatant act of aggression is what he called it yesterday's attack on Uri. Uh, the, uh, India reserves the right to uh, retaliate at a point and a time of their choosing.